And Shadow Mario. Shadow Mario. Whoa. That was massive echo for a second. So why can he swim? Oh, he, he swam a little bit in Bianco Hills. I... I guess... Uh, I guess it's because the, the flood of... Um, chewing out Flood's, wa uh, the Flood's water is what hurts him, I guess? I don't know. It's weird. Kind of makes me wonder, like, the conversation uh, e Egad had with uh, Bowser Jr. before giving him the brush. It's like, it's like, you do know that's, that's Bowser's son. Why would you, like, trust him with that thing? <laughs> Unless he... Well, fair enough, but we don't know. <laughs> I, I guess... I not named yet. It's true. But, um... I don't think they ever say mention Egad by name in this game, but... Yeah, it's a... Uh, I guess I've... I've... In the paintbrush or Egad inventions. Just... Oh. Yeah. So invent everything in the Mario universe? Yeah. Oh, yeah there you go. I'm not right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just pressing B. <laughs> but, um, cause like it looks like we're trying to stop out his his, his invisible corpse. <laughs> I guess um, so I I have a junior just stole the paintbrush, um, and just and just lied about Egad giving it to him. Or no, he wouldn't need to lie about, mm. about that. Probably not. I. It's weird though. Like, I, I. I guess the only other way I can see see it making like making sense of uh, Egad just giving it to him is uh, if Bowser Jr. just friend him in some way. Because otherwise, we, uh, just, I don't know why you'd give him something like that. Does Egad even know about Bowser at this point? Um, I suppose he must know, like, like something about him if, uh, because of Luigi's Mansion. If, if we go by, like, this game takes place after that game, but I don't know. All we know, he doesn't even know Junior is Bowser's son. He could have just been some random Koopa boy that he saw. That's a fair point, yeah. Uh, here, Sonny, test out this brush for me. Don't do anything evil. I yeah, I, I can believe that. That that make that that makes more sense. Yeah. I just wish Egad was uh, in more games. Like he's in a few Mario parties. He's in Luigi's Mansion one and two, and that's like. Rob, he's more prominent in the RPGs than he is in the platformers. Yeah. This is a really easy red coin mission, by the way. So. Kind of a, I, I think it's just kind of a uh, relaxing. Sorry for torture. Thank you for everything else. Yeah, especially with the music because um, it's very serene and calm. Oh crap! Missed. That's kind of a creative idea, though. It's just. A fish made out of coins. Hey, where'd that red coin go? Okay, there we go.
Uh, what were you talking about? Yeah, it's just practical non-existence in the mainline Mario games. Yeah. Count him and Toad's Wolf are pretty much more proud than the RPGs now. Yeah. Total Dwarf doesn't even really show up in anything outside of remakes these days. Mm. Yeah, they don't really do much with him. It's kind of a shame. Uh, uh, Total Dwarf and uh, Egad, I think, at this point deserve spots as playable characters in like the spin-offs, at least. Surpri I'm surprised they haven't done that. The baseball games. Wait, what? Dwarf is playable in the baseball games. Okay. Okay. Well, there's that. that. Missing. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're done with Noki Bay. Uh, the, how long did that take? An hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. That that's one of the shorter uh, runs, I think. So um, I guess we'll uh, stop here and then. I think next time will probably be the finale because we just got uh, Pianta Village and then end game pretty much. So we're not that far off from the end now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching Noki Bay and then we'll hopefully see you for the uh, last session. So see you guys then. Let me finish this before each three. Find out next time. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Last time we went through uh, Noki Bay, uh, stopped the uh, polluted water and whatnot, and today uh, we're going to go through the last major world of the game, which is Pianta Village, and um, the only uh, world in the game where you had to get there with, uh, by using um, a different nozzle, which is kind of cool actually, but either way. Like, Ser Serena Beach, you had to go into a pipe. I'd imagine if if there were going to be more levels like they originally planned, uh, there would have been a lot, a lot more um, pipes around. But either way. Hold on a second. Uh... I'm just getting a mono, mono sound. Why is it just going through, coming from one speaker? Huh. That's weird. You know, we don't really have much time to worry about it, so I guess we'll just... I guess I'll try and worry about that in editing, if I can. But, um... You know, how many blue coins have we got? Fourteen. Fourteen, alright. <clears throat> but yeah, from the... Uh, where I remember this... This pl this uh, place has a couple of uh, really infamous shines. Um, I think it's a little bit exaggerated, but some of the a couple of them uh, are infamous for a reason. I'll admit to that. Also, this is a really obscure blue coin. Just gotta do this. I don't know how you're supposed to know that. Oops. Save after you get the next blue coin. I wasn't even falling, I was just standing in mid air. <clears throat> oh crap. I forgot I did this. I never really liked that in Mario games, like it booted, it boots you out of the level every time you die. Just kind of breaks the pace a bit, a bit too much.
I don't think they do that in the Galaxy games, do they? I don't remember. No, I don't think they do. Mm. Cause like, especially after you play like the modern Rayman games, like you get spoiled. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's one. That blue coin counter is going up. Blue coin be lying in a thick grass just past the mushroom tree to the left of the bridge. Hmm. Oh, is it this? Oh, it's a triangle. Don't remember where that is, but it's like down here somewhere. It's near the swing. Oh, okay. In the rear of the village. Okay. Oh wow, that that stayed out for a while. Generous. We're done. Yep. The guy's just eating the blue coin. I think that might be one of these boxes. I don't remember. Oh, hi. Oh, she's hiding. There's not nothing here? Okay. But yeah, I think this is, um... This might follow be... Follow stream back. Huh? You should follow the stream back up to the pool and you'll find... Um, a blue coin. Wait. Follow the stream back up. Follow the stream from the pool to where it drops off the edge, and you can you will find a blue coin in the water at the end. And then yeah. you found that, so back up to the pool, and you'll find a blue coin under a small natural bridge. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, what else do we need? It was 14, right? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, that's... 2D. Bridge. Wait. The bridge, uh... Off the bridge and hover onto the catwalk. Okay. Ground pound onto it from one of the revolving gates in the town. The oh! Ceiling. Okay. I feel like it will be a different area. I know there's like a M graffiti on top of one of those areas in one episode, but it's specifically in one episode, and it doesn't appear anywhere else, which is really annoying. Just get that out of the way. Hmm. Hey, see Pinna Park.
Yeah, you should also. There's also one near the yellow mush. Oh, I can. I okay. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I remembered one. Uh, this is another really obscure one. If it's... Wait. Okay, never mind. Uh, the in an episode, uh, there's an episode where uh, there's a signpost that appears, and if you spray like you get a blue coin. What in the? What? Can someone please explain what just happened there? Cause like what? First, <laughs> let's play. <laughs> I'm glad the blue coins uh, don't reset, cause uh, that would have that would suck otherwise. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Right. <clears throat> Round pound, Pianta statue. Pianta statue. Yeah, we done that. I can't see. Um. Cool area squirted the hole as the source fountain. The the fountain? Cool area squirted the hole that is the source of the fountain. Oh right, right, yeah, we I, I yeah, I did that. Might as well get some of these chomplets in the water. Is this the only time the chain chomp kind of enemies have been on fire? Greedy oh, game, yes. Hmm. Have they been like like this in two in any of the two D ones? Because I can't. Think. I know. What... Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they seem they seem like the kind of wacky nonsense you see in Yoshi game, but I don't know about um. <laughs> Because, yeah, because they seem specifically just built for this game, because Flood. Are they even... Are they even paint enemies, or just random... variants? I'm not sure. Well, I mean... I mean, like, uh... Spoiler, I guess, I guess, but um, when we get to Shadow Mario, he actually gets, he actually uses a uh, fire um, goop, like, just like this, so maybe. Tweedo Island have any natural hazards of its own? Um... I can't really think of anything else. Um, hmm. Good question. Compared to Delfino, the Mushroom Kingdom looks like a hellhole. Yeah, I mean, like the Mushroom Kingdom, like there's like massive pits everywhere. There's like all these dangerous creatures and whatnot. It's like if you take out Shadow Mario's goons, there's like not really much, many things that are hostile here, to be honest. That's the system. Hmm. I mean, I guess Nintendo did a good job in making this an actual good uh, vacation location. I guess. Uh, nope, don't want to change the camera like that. That was a really cool trick shot. Okay. Okay, that's the main the main mission done. What's Oh yeah, it is a. Let's see, uh... Still need that other M graffiti. M graffiti. Um... Off the bridge and hover onto the catwalk, or ground pound onto it from one of the revolving gates in town. Hmm. on the ceiling. Oh, is it this? Uh...
Hmm. I got an idea, but I'm not sure if this is correct. Oh, there's a blue coin here. And one more, I believe. And then it's the... Um, I can't see at all. But I think this is the only level that has a pit in it. I could be wrong, but... Like, if you don't count the- not counting, like, secret courses, obviously. Uh, yeah. I think we might have to go down here. Alright, let me see. Oh. Gonna have to preserve the water a little bit. Nice of it if the if OBS didn't freeze. Oh, we what now? OBS is uh like every every now and then it's uh, just freezing for a few seconds. Well, well, not a few seconds, more like half a second, but still, it's annoying. Okay. I remember there being an M somewhere down here, but I don't know where. I can't afford to use up too much water. Oh, wait. Okay, there it is. Sneaky guy. Now I just have to get back running out of water. Yeah, or just making a bad jump. Oh crap, nope, that was a bad jump. Uh, just about. Just made it, cool. Now th this uh, bridge is a little bit wonky. Uh, I've had times when I do like, cr like try going for it really speedy, and then I just end up falling through it, so it's best to just play that safe. How are we doing for time? We haven't been recording. We've been recording for less than thirty minutes. Okay. I think we should. Uh, I guess, at the very least, get all manage to get all the blue coins because it's uh, it's a uh, right now. Uh, it's like really late for me, so we're just kind of trying to get for as much of this as, as we can right now. It'll blue. Be in this episode. No blue coin? One. Oh, one. Okay. Ready to sign to your right immediately after you cross the bridge from your starting point. Okay, so, so it's this one. Alright. Okay, I don't want to talk to him just yet because it's going to activate the race. Yeah, I have no idea how you're supposed to know that because it's literally just like any other sign. Yeah, so this is the last race of this guy, and, uh... It's not too bad, you just, you just kind of have to... If you use this, uh, slide trick, then you can just be in pretty easily. And if you do a dive jump on the tree, like, since it's in... 
basically an incline, you gain so much speed, because for some reason doing that, like, doing that in this game just makes you build up a lot of momentum. But yeah. Uh, I like... I like the idea of, uh, like, the ELP Antissimo races. Now that I think about it, like, the race... The races have become a, a main, like, a main thing since 64. Um... But... Uh, they... I don't, I don't think they... They... They got really, like, very challenging until Galaxy, to be honest. Because, uh, I remember some of the ones in Galaxy being pretty, being pretty difficult. Okay, so this is... Going from you from the start? Yeah, this is one of the, this is one of the, uh, infam infamous stages I was talking about. You, uh, had to do this whole stage, uh, without Flood. And it's uh, not a secret course, it's uh, a regular level. And you kind of, it's kind of a uh, puzzle how to get to where Flood is so you can get him back. Because all this place is like just on flames now. So you kind of have to find your way on from the underground section, if you will. I know there's, um, I've seen some people do some crazy uh, shortcuts uh, by uh, just like jumping on the uh, goop enemies and whatnot, but it's ridiculously precise. And uh, yeah, this became a lot more pre precarious now. <laughs> yeah, the doing a dive out of a uh, out of a like. Somersault or a spin jump is probably your best bet. Out of um, out of getting a long jump. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, most of your time is going to be spent down here in this stage. I really do like the idea of this day because um. It makes you think about how to get through the level a lot differently. I think this might actually just be it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't actually as bad as I remember. Huh. Alright. Yeah, that's it. It's a really cool concept though. Now we have to go back because uh, there's uh, some exclusive M, M graffiti in some of this goop. And then there's that guy over there. There's a massive one. I guess near the start. Ow. Oh, there we go. I don't remember if there's any more, but... Oh. Are you back? I assume this is all... What we got? 18.
All right. Back. Oh, hi. Uh, how many blue coins are here? Three. Three. Uh, let's see. I got... Amal. I got Amal? Okay. What do... How, how do you feel about, uh, like, the that level? Like, how you had to do most of it without Flood? Because, um, I think it's... I was gone. I had to deal uh, with something. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. But what do you, you think about the general concept of that, then? I'm surprised they didn't do this more than normal. <laughs> yeah. Off. flash forwards to playing Odyssey and having Cappy stolen from you every other level. Yeah. That's basically the um, the equivalent to doing a secret course, because it's a, uh, it makes you do like this uh, platforming challenge without like your main crutch, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I would have liked more actual levels um, that you, you had to find, find your way around without flood, which... Uh, Cause it makes you think about playing the game a completely different way. Are there any blue coins here? Before, no. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, this one's a. Uh... This is probably my least favorite mission in this in this world, just because you're literally just pulling this chain jump to the uh, um, to one specific point for the whole thing. And, um, it's just cut time consuming. It's not really hard at all. It's just, it's not really interesting in any way. It's just kind of exists. It's like, I get, I, I get, I guess I kind of understand what they were going for. Cause it's like you did, you dealt with like three trumplets earlier, so it's like let's have the big guy for this one, but yeah. And then he can get away. Probably go this way would be better. He really doesn't want to take a buff. Have you seen what it does to his brethren? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, th this makes him gold for some uh, for some reason. Either he's frozen or he's just like he really likes it, because it looks like he's just frozen. You know, it'll be, it'll be um, really funny if it turned out that that chain chomp turned out to be the one you you set free from Bob on Battlefield. He was just trying to enjoy his vacation. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so this is, um, an, like, the, probably the most infamous stage mission in the game because of the secret core section. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, this is also the best stage to get 100 coins in, so we're just going to get that out of the way now. The, you got any blue coins here? Free. Free, okay. <coughs> okay. I think two of them are eat the bees. Uh, don't bother with that one up. I have no idea how you're supposed to get that without killing yourself. I swear I remember like ground pounding some of these mushrooms giving you coins, but could be wrong. Maybe these ones. No. Oh. Oh, nice. It worked. Yeah, we got some a lot of coins Early from this kids. one. Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. Maybe it's just that one. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, we already have sixty, so. Coconut. Yeah, we're just gonna eat the bees, and that should give us most of the coins we need. I honestly would, yeah, like just going back to a. Uh, Al Delfino as like a a vacation spot. I honestly wouldn't mind like going here for a uh, like a summer break or whatever. Cause uh, I don't know. I like how exotic it is. What about you? Excuse me. It's a pretty place. I. Uh, much else to say aside from my egg. Drop out the call for a brief moment, just keep going. Alright. Just gonna try and get in a safe location. This might actually be the easiest hundred coin in the hundred coins in the game. Goodness. One more. I don't particularly remember where this one is. Oh no. It's not up here, is it? Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but... Mm. I kind of just uh, hugged the tree with hover and I just flew up here, basically. 
So I did the two beehives. Where's the third blue coin? On to the top of the fruit tree and then nearby. Have Yoshi eat all the blue uh, blue coin? Oh. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, Yoshi's stuck up here, so we're gonna have to get him. If he's not already gone. Oh yeah, he's gone. Where is he? Yeah, he's not here anymore. Okay. Banana. Are you were you gonna say anything else about uh Aldofino or Okay, fair enough. I still would like Aldolfino DLC for uh, Mario Odyssey or something. That would be it would be pretty cool to see like uh, be able to like explore the islands without like any kind of like loading screen. Uh, Start things. Um, I actually have it everything interconnected, uh, so you could go from like Pinner Park to like Rico Harbor or whatever. That'd be really cool. I think if they did that. Oh, okay. It's being weird. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's an ama there's a really funny glitch you can do with uh, Yoshi's Tongue in Galaxy in Galaxy Two, where like it's as far as I know, you can only do it really do it on the Starship. Um, but like you press B while you're on Yoshi at the same time you uh, go on the portal thing, and Yoshi's Tongue will kind of just get stuck, and you'll just move around like normal with. Uh, Yoshi's tongue just kind of expanding for as long as you move. It's really weird. <laughs> Alright, time to do that level proper. If I can get back in.